now. Chris Tinker is the founder of Libra Investment Services. Thanks for being with us, Chris. Did you uh, agree with that sentiment that Barton Biggs was expressing there? He's being a cowardly bull. Oh, I think what, what Barton Biggs is reflecting is actually where most investors are out there right now. It would be a mistake to assume that the volatility we've seen on the markets in the middle of August, it is August after all, is a reflection of sort of rational decision making about value. I think it's more relevant to notice that yesterday Hewlett Packard bid for autonomy. Um, if you want to know where value is, people are putting their money where their mouth is in the corporate world and saying, that's an asset I can value. What this is all about is risk. It's about risk appetite. And you were talking before, uh, before Barton Biggs came on about what's going on with the uh, the risk valuation measures in the CDS markets and all the rest of it. Yeah. This is about whether people have appetite for risk. It's not that risk, there's more risk or less risk in the banks. It's that people don't have the appetite to own that risk right now in but the way they, they did 18 months ago. they don't have it because they have doubts about the economy. Isn't that right? I mean, I, I think you we, say it's August, but we've, no, had, we've seen pretty big volumes for August. Well, if you were looking in the UK markets yesterday, it was not about volume. It's about a futures expiry today. It's about the inability for people to roll over shorts into December contracts. It's about a whole load of technical things going on in these markets which are compounded by the technical trading dynamics of high frequency trading etc and you know I'm not denying the fact that there are concerns about the economy but let's face it we're talking about economic downgrades we're not talking about deep recession people talking about double dips people talking about these things you know all, all credit to Bloomberg News and everybody else this is not physical evidence that there is an economic road train coming the wrong way it's about if I can finish it's about the Fed making a very good point the other day. There is 1.6 trillion of cash sitting earning less than 25 basis points a year on bank deposits because banks in the United States do not want to lend money to anybody because their risk appetite isn't there. This is what it's about. It's not about an economy that is going into recession. It's about an economy that can't grow. Right, but there's also consumers deleveraging and, and, and businesses as well. But Apparently that's nothing not, new. That's not, nothing new. not having the demand for the money. But, I mean, it sounds like you agree with Paul Donovan from UBS who was, on, who was on earlier. He was saying, actually, the data that we've had out of the U.S., anything that isn't a confidence gauge has actually been better than expected. Well, the reality is that reacting to sentiment indicators now, I mean, have we forgotten what's been going on in the last two months in terms of markets and expectations? If sentiment indicators are, are, are fragile, are we surprised? It goes back to the point about this is about risk appetite. Nobody has that appetite for risk. But if you were sitting there at Hewlett Packard and you decided today was the day to make that bid for autonomy, as we, we saw, that tells you that if you are putting a value on an asset, if you are putting a value on your business and how autonomy fits into HP, they're coming out with a £25 bid. For they a 14 a certain, pound share price. They have a certain degree of confidence and a certain degree of... Uh, well, they recognise that there's a business opportunity. And I think a lot of investors, as Barton Biggs was saying, people would like to be able to step up and buy here. But nobody's got the confidence to do so. So in the meantime, that vacuum that's being created... Now, I would really stress this. This is not a market that woke up in the middle of August and suddenly realised that the glass was empty. It may not be half full, but it's certainly not an empty glass. So this is a buying opportunity is what you're saying? Well, ultimately, I think you've got to decide if you're an investor and it's about value and it's about making the investment decisions, you are in an environment where you, if you have the... You know, if you have the cojones to make that investment decision, you have got an awful lot of opportunity. But what you can't do is you can't do what a lot of fund managers are having to do right now, which is have a risk manager walk into his office and say, you're not allowed to own that anymore. You can't own those positions. But these guys are getting killed by volatility. They're getting killed by right. risk management decisions, which are beyond their ability to make that rational long-term investment decision. Are you able to do that? Do you have... You must be getting a lot of calls from your clients. No, we're, 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 we're on an advisory side. We're, we're a financial services advisory company. We advise on valuation investment opportunities to hedge funds, to long-only funds. That's the nature of what we do. So we're not running money, but we're talking to a lot of people who are, and everybody is just bored. You know, this is ridiculous. Right. This, is, this isn't about the job that we do. This is about um, a cross-market decision. This is about bond investors wanting to deleverage their exposures to sovereign debt, deleverage their exposures to markets, where in reality we've got the Treasury yield below 2%. You can't make money 
on a long-term view on 2%. But the only thing you can do is have everybody so scared that they all go and buy treasuries because that's the only thing that they can do. And it's a frustration for equity investors because they're saying, we've got liquidity that's not coming through to us. It's getting stuck in the banking system. And what the bond markets are now saying is, oh, you must buy treasuries, you must buy bonds because it's the only place you can hide and be safe. Right. But that's not, that's not what the investment world is supposed to be about. It's about taking risk decisions. And if we all think that we can avoid risk everywhere in the world, we're just going to end up with everybody sitting with their money under the mattress, paying mm. metaphorically and literally. Time to be cowardly bulls, as Barton Biggs says. Thanks I, very I much. I think you've got to make an investment decision and, and, and go with it now. Yeah, Chris absolutely. Tinker, thank you very much. Appreciate that.